Nintendo dropped a trailer on us at 7 in the morning. But it's for the next season, fresh season 2024. We also got a trailer for the Side Order DLC, which I'm not sure if I'm going to watch just yet. We're going to react to this fresh season 2024 trailer, and we can watch the DLC trailer, maybe if there's enough interest. Let's go ahead and see what uh, we're going to get with this new season. But Side Order, again, is releasing in very, very soon. It's like eight days, I think it, I think it is. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. No face cam today. I see an airport. Okay. Are we gonna have an iconic map like Terminal? Unless the map is inside of an airplane. That'd be kind of funny. All right. Ooh. Okay, wait. We gotta get some, I mean, we gotta get a new 52 gal kit, right? Nice. Marlin Airport. Ooh. Ooh. It has moving platforms. Recycled Brella 22. Huh. Oh, new Brella. Oh, 52 gal. Oh, that's a Pearl and Marina airplane. Dowser Dooleys. What is. What? That looks cool. What's the other map? Is it just one? New E-Leader kit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Gimmicks. They're finally bringing gimmicks back, people. Bone Rattle Arena. Oh, new Salmon Run stage. Oh. Wait, there's only one new map? Oh no, is that really? Is there really only like one new map? Ooh. New mode! <gasps> new mode! No, I thought it was a new mode. Never mind. Looks like a challenge. Splatfest feature. Oh. Huh. Wait. Ah, side order. Okay. Dang, all right. So it's, it's showing a bit more of the... Oh, I'm so excited to play this. Oh, there's Pearl. I honestly want, yeah, I really want to kind of go into that little blind. Going off of that is pretty nice. But February 22nd, we're only getting one new map and that's it. We're getting a new Salmon Run stage, sure, but we're only getting one new multiplayer map. They could have just given, right? I, I feel like they could have just given a Splatoon 2 stage. So we got the new Brella kit. Don't really know what it has, but it has something that's in the lower range. So it might be Burst Bomb. These new dualies, these, uh, their designs, are very interesting. I kind of dig that design, but the map, the map here, it looks pretty open. There's actually, you know, the moving platform here. There's a quite a few drop downs, not really much inkable walls. I don't know, this map, oh, uh, this platform might go up. Oh yeah, this platform goes up. So yeah, that one moves. I do like that this new stage actually looks really cool. Oh, ink. Yeah, I had an ink rail right there. It's actually a new map, too, and it's not just another remake. We So we're getting a new Squiffer, and I think that's a new... So the Explosher and the Dreadringer don't have second kits, so I think that might be Explosher. Oh, new Dreadringer kit. Okay, so we got a new Explosher and new Dreadringer. Yes, I'm excited now. Actually, wait, I just realized... Of new 52 gal kit, 52, 52 gal deco. What's you behind here? So the new E leader. So I assume we're getting two new E leaders because of the scoped version and then the unscoped version. Looks like we're getting another Flingsa roller over here. Nice, nice. So, so far there's one, two, three, four, five, six kits, excluding the seventh one, which is this. So looking at it from here, okay, so it's definitely, it seems like it's definitely gonna be wider. So it looks like this entire part is going to be mostly off limits you have to get there by taking that little windmill 
uh, not windmill, this little platform right here to take up. Not entirely sure if there's any other way into the enemy base, but it seems like at least for turf ward, this kind of makes sense. So taking, having this part being mostly inaccessible unless you get take that platform here, the fact that you can even get up there is still good. And the little, the shifting, the fact that it ships, shifts up, upwards and it's, it's a pretty big platform from what it looked like over there. So we got a platform over here that moves to the left that takes you there. There's a sponge that helps you go up there. So there's like three routes to get to this side. There's one, just, just about one very simple one to get to this other side. So it looks like they're actually trying to make it to where there's at least the third option here. So you can see right there. Oh, and the wall is inkable too. So you can bring this up. The wall is the wall is inkable, so if somebody goes up, you can follow behind them. I am actually very happy that we got a new Salmon Run stage. It looks like this entire thing is inkable here. This map could be fun. It feels like, it kind of seems like a spawning grounds with far less grates. You can see all these inkable walls. Honestly, man, they have been killing it with these Salmon Run maps. I saw something up there. I don't think it's any significance. Yeah, there's a cage right there. I don't know. It's cool. Fizzbang, Fizzbang is cool. They're probably going to reveal a majority of it on Twitter. You can very much tell that they're trying to push the side order DLC with this new season, which is great because this is a lot to play already. Getting only one map in this season, if that's the trade-off, so be it. Because this this is probably going to be still be the biggest season release. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy that reaction. I The, the trailer was very good. I, I might watch the side order DLC trailer. Just let me know if you want me to watch it, and I will. I Thing going up based off of what we just saw right there is pretty much all I really needed to see. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and let me know down in the comment section below. Are you planning to play side order on release or are you going to go straight to just the fresh season stuff? I'm excited now. There's a new Dreadringer kit and there's also a new 52 gal kit. Those are two of my favorite weapons in the game. Uh, the Splatfest is going to be pretty interesting with the Fizz Bangs. So that, that's obviously not going to be for this Splatfest coming up. It's going to be cool. It's going to be something different. And I think that's that's good, but I feel like a new Splatfest mode entirely would have, would have been way better, even though this is still very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy. I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day.